Hey there, Sart here, back again with part three of my budget-friendly tour of destruction with our favorite black mage, Golbez. Um, and just like in the last two videos, um, I'm going to put timestamps for all the trials that I'm going to do here. This one should be a shorter one. I'm only going to do four trials in this one. Um, I didn't have a whole lot of time to work on, on different trials this week, and we've got Clash of Wills coming up, so I'm kind of focused on that. Uh, but I wanted to get uh, at least one last video out to you guys before Clash of Wills. And, um, you know, this certainly uh, won't be the last one in the series. Um, but, I, you know, I'm, I'm going to take a little break from this series, focus on Clash of Wills. And then after that's done, uh, I, I can come back to this one and, and do a few more uh, of the trials that I haven't finished up yet. And um, so yeah, I'm going to do four trials in this one. Just like in all the previous ones, uh, use the timestamps to jump around to whichever trial you would like to see. Uh, if there's one in particular that you're really interested in, um, I always put timestamps in all my videos. And in long videos like these, uh, those definitely come in handy. Um, this one should be shorter than the last two since I'm only doing four trials, but uh, <laughs> you never know. I thought the second one was going to be shorter than the first one and it ended up being a minute longer. So uh, who knows? All right, um, now let's go ahead and just hop right in here. So in, in the last video, um, uh, a comment from a uh, uh, follower asked if I would do uh, an old trial from the Chamber, um, sorry, the Chamber of the Fallen, yep, or the Chamber of Indignant, I should say, uh, and that's the Scorn of the Wicked Moon. And I, I didn't really think about doing that because it's such an old trial, but it, it is kind of an interesting one because... Um, it's very unique in that it is 100% immune to physical damage, which means you cannot use Meteor on it. So if, if you were thinking you would take Golbez in there and just, oh, I'm going to wreck it on the first turn with Meteor, um, you would quickly realize that it is completely immune to Meteor um, because Meteor is a physical attack. Uh, that scales with your mag. Uh, so you actually have to use magic on it. And when this trial first came out, man, it was so much fun. Like, I, I loved this trial when it came out. I have I had so much fun with it. Uh, I think the first team I took in there, it took me like 40 or between 40 and 50 turns to clear the thing. And man, it was it, it was awesome. Uh, I think I, I had to take in like two magic tanks because like the one tank would die uh, and, and the other one would have to take over and it was just like back and forth. And man, it was like a, it was a, a serious battle. Tons of fun. Uh, now, of course, it is power crept into oblivion, but it does still have some little gimmicks that, you know, might make it a little difficult if you just, you know, you don't really quite understand what's going on. And so, um, yeah, let, we'll talk about how to get around uh, those things in this trial, and and also we're going to go ahead and, and try and do an all missions clear with this one, because um, it shouldn't be too hard to do. Um, but the missions are a little interesting, so you have to attack uh, the foe's elemental weakness six times or more, and, and the easiest way to do that is to wait for it to summon uh, a couple of its um, minions, or what they call apostles, because they all uh, come with their innate their own innate elemental strength and weakness and and so if you bring in mages that have a lot of elements um, you can hit that one really really easily on the turn that they show up uh, evoke an esper is that'll be an easy one to do golbez can actually fill up esper gauge uh, himself and since we're going to wait a few turns for the apostles to appear uh, we can evoke an esper in that time period uh, the last one defeating the bloody moon with magic that one's very similar to you know, like, uh, you know, defeating something with an Esper, it can be a little bit tricky with the timing. You just have to make sure that you cast the magic spell before Bloody Moon actually dies, but then the damage comes after Bloody Moon has died so that it counts as killing it with that magic. And so I'll show you how we get that done. Um, so we're not going to bring a friend. Don't need a friend for it. Um, so here's the team. We've got Lotus Mage Fina. She is our dedicated re-raise unit and entrust unit because we'll actually be using Golbez's uh, limit burst um, to deal some damage because it is a, a magic attack and it can deal um, pretty good damage. Uh, we've got Golbez of course. Uh, Wizardess Shantoto is there just because she ha she innately has six elements um, six uh, yeah six elements that she can cast and uh, and, the, and they are black magic spells so you can you know put Arania's ring on and she can quad cast those so you can hit that six elemental weaknesses real quick right off the bat. Biggs and Wedge just because 
I didn't feel like switching them out. Um, and Runda for mitigations and just general, you know, keeping everybody alive on this one. Um, so you don't necessarily need re-raise on the team if you have enough gear to make everybody death resistant. That's the only reason uh, Fina is here. Uh, because I don't want to assume that you can give everybody on your team death resistance. The only person who's death resistant is Biggs, uh, Biggs and Wedge. Um, he's wearing safety bit. Otherwise, everyone else is going to die at the 39% threshold. Uh, because Wicked Moon does have a uh, hard HP lock at 39% HP. And once you hit that threshold, it will do an AoE death. And, um, <clears throat> but... That's all it does on that turn. So it does the AOE death and then nothing else. And it just leaves it, you know, leaves itself completely defenseless. You just go in there and, and kill it on the, the next turn. And so that's what we're going to do here. Uh, so let's just go over the gear real quick. This should be quite simple. You don't need much. Um, you know, just think about giving everyone a bit of, of bulk, some defense and spirit and HP, just because they are going to be taking some damage. Um, you know, the mitigations will make it practically nil, but, you know, don't don't just go in with naked units necessarily because um you know they they may take more damage than you think but as you can see i didn't go overboard here just some very basic cheap gear to give you know hp defense and spirit Golbez is innately kind of kind of bulky uh certainly bulky enough for this trial um but this is you know just like in the last two videos standard um you know, cheap budget gear I've been using. The Encyclopedia of Herbs is that free item world two-handed rod. Magic Circlet, Heliarch's TMR. Golvez's own STMR in, uh, with the Curse upgrade. Curse Doll and Dragon's Crest, those are trial rewards. And then, um, so for this one, you don't need the... Since we're not using Meteor, we don't have to worry about his MP. So I, I took off Miracle Magic and the Indestructible Light because we're also not going to be chaining. We're just using magic straight up. And um, so I just instead just focused on killers. I, I didn't bother to switch out the vision card just because I'm lazy, but you could uh, theoretically put in um, a different vision card. Uh, however, this one does have um, demon killer on it, uh, which is which is good. Um, I actually realized um, I need these to be magic killers. I put the physical killers in there. Whoops. I mean, still got it done, but. Um, I just realized I need them to be magic killers because we're not using Meteor. So, um, where are my magic killers? There aren't really a whole lot of magic killers, are there? Not ones that I would consider budget, um, that I would feel comfortable using. So, did we get Fairy Eater since? Where did we get that one? No, I'm pretty sure that comes from a 12 types trial that I haven't done on this series yet so i don't want to use that all right so i'm actually just going to remove remove these because those aren't doing anything um what is his magic magic demon is 200 percent. magic fairy is 225 um yeah it, it, that's fine i'm not too i'm not too worried about it um oh we could put it's force mysterion not magic demon I consider that budget. Is it not? Oh, wow. Well, we could do a Demon Killer Plus. Oh, for, yeah, there it is. Force Mysterium. I knew it was magic, too. Okay, that's good. All right, so that should be fine enough. Um, we are already capped off on everything else. So, yeah. All right. Very cool. <clears throat> I'm glad I caught that. Like, I just noticed that. I was like, wait a minute, why am I putting... Again, I'm thinking I'm using Meteor, but we're not. <laughs> we're not going to be using Meteor at all. Um, Shantoto, yeah, she just needs, again, general bulk gear. Um, Erin Yez Ring, so she can quad cast any of these uh, six elemental magics that she has. Um, so that'll be useful to get the mission. Um, otherwise, yeah, just standard cheap bulk, you know, bulk gear. Uh, Biggs and Wedge, it, standard gear. He is wearing safety bit for the death resist. Um, and yeah, then just same gear he's wearing for whatever the previous trial was. Um, Runda in his standard, uh, standard, you know, budget tank gear. Uh, tank uh, vision card, all that stuff. Yeah, nothing really, nothing really 
uh, fancy there. So let's just go ahead and get in here and see how we get this all missions clear. <laughs> all right. Um, we can just go ahead and do, um, we're going to do some LB fill for Golbez because we are going to use his uh, LB to kill this thing. Um, more specifically, we're going to use his SLB to kill this thing. Um, so we'll do Divine. That's just for some buffs and the LB fill. Um, we'll do the Magic Cover and then LB fill. Runda will just do his LB. Um, Golbez is going to go ahead and start uh, filling up the Esper Gauge. So come Shadow Dragon does Esper Gauge fill and you can triple cast it. So this should get us pretty close to full if it doesn't fill us up right off the bat. Um, I don't think that... Yeah, I don't think that Shantoto needs to do anything. I might go ahead and do a... Oh, that's such a crappy Imperil. I was going to say I might go ahead and do a... Um, an Imperil. What's the Imperil on this one? 120, that's better than nothing, I'll take it. All right. Yeah, so there we go, we've got our Esper Gage almost filled. Um, we'll make sure it gets filled up next turn. All right, so we won't, we're not covering the magic damage, but as you can see, it's it yeah, barely hurts us. Um, inconsequential thanks to Runda's general mitigations. All right, um, Fina is gonna set up. Uh, she's gonna do Blooming Lotus to heal and also set up uh, ailment resistance, and then just some more LB fill. Uh, he can just do double LB fill. And, um, let's see, he could actually go ahead and set up, uh, we'll do Jet Black Curse just to have a better Dark Imperil, because we are going to use Dark, you know, Golbez's Limit Burst is Dark Elemental Magic, so might as well have the best Imperil, um, when we're going in. Um, we'll do another, uh, Come Shadow Dragon to fill up our Esper, uh, and then... Yeah. Uh, what else we do? Like I said, we don't want to. We don't want to kill this thing too quick. Uh, we want to wait for the minions to show up before we do any kind of real damage to this thing. So I'll just do give your powers to Meteor, I guess. Just do something with that last one. Uh, so Runda can now do uh, this uh, Esper summon. So we've got that mission down now. <laughs> All right, there we go. Ooh, so what do we have? We've got a uh, an ice elemental and a dark elemental. So that means the weaknesses are light and fire. Um. All right, too easy. Oh, not the triple cast. We want a quad fire raga five. Um. So Golbez, his only light elemental is, I think, Twin Meteor, but which he doesn't have access to. So we'll just do Rubicante's power. He doesn't have any other innate. Oh, he does have Fire Aja. Let's do that. I think that's like, I think that might actually be stronger. That's got a 35 times modifier. What is Rubicante's power? Yeah. So. Yeah, we don't need to restore people's... Yeah, so let's do Fire Raja. Um, so that's, you know, that's hitting it six times with its elemental weakness. So there is that mission taken care of. Um, I don't think it is... Oh, that's just uh, his Omnium in peril. So I, I don't think Dark is the one that it's most... Uh, I don't think this will kill it. It shouldn't. Um, or by kill it, I mean push it past the threshold. It'll definitely kill the minions. The minions are super squishy. They're going to die. Um, they've got no chance. But, um, 
this it might also push Bloody Moon's um, threshold, but we'll find out. Um, yeah, Fina is just gonna re up. Let's do another Blooming Lotus and Divine Veil. Biggs and Wedge can just guard because we've got we've got Gol Golbez's LB ready to go, and Runda can just SLB. Um, yeah. So we're just gonna do a whole bunch of fire damage. Yeah, okay. I didn't think that was gonna push the threshold. Um, hopefully his LB will. I probably should have given him LB damage, actually. Oh, he decided to summon another Apostle. This one is Lightning Element. That's all right. He's gonna die. It don't matter. It don't matter. He gonna die. All right. Um. So yeah, his his limit burst is Dark um, Elemental Magic, and so um, this should definitely uh, kill the thing without issue. And by kill the thing, I mean push the threshold. Um, if it doesn't, uh, we're gonna we're gonna rethink things if that doesn't kill it. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do Eternal Light. That's for the re-raise, um, and then yeah, it, actually I don't. She doesn't need to do anything else. Just Eternal Light for the re-raise on everybody. Um, everybody else can just guard. Um, I mean, if you want to, we could do. No, we don't even need to do that. I'm not even gonna bother. All right, we're just gonna let Golbez uh, do his thing. So it should stop at 39%. There it is. We've hit the threshold. We're all gonna die. <laughs> um, but the nice thing is Golbez gets his super limit burst, which means he gets a mag buff, an LB damage buff, and it's much stronger than his normal limit burst. So yeah, again, this thing's, this thing's going down. We'll do Divine Veil just for the buffs. Um, just so he has some kind of, actually, I don't even think he needs it. That's right, he gets the mag buff automatically. So we can just go ahead and do the SLB. And you just wanna have, um, yeah, this is where you wanna have Shantoto do like quad casting magic of some kind, um, just to make sure that, you know, it, it dies, you know, while it's dead, it's being hit with a magic attack to get that, that final mission. All right, um, so yeah, we'll just do, uh, Golbez and Shantota. And that'll, that's all she wrote. And there's your all missions clear. Um, yeah. So that's how you take down the Wicked Moon with a uh, budget team, budget Golbez, and get all those missions. If you, you know, if you haven't done it, um, you know, it, it is an interesting battle. It's not one you can just go in and think you're going to slay it on turn one necessarily unless you've got, you know, pure magic uh, that you're using. Obviously, Golbez doing all the damage there. Don't even really have to look at that. All right, so that's the Wicked Moon. Um, and that's pretty much it for the... Um, that's pretty much, much it for the Chamber of the Fallen. I'm not going to go back to that one unless... There's one you guys specifically want me to do. Feel free to let me know in the comments below. I'm happy to do requests for uh, for the next installment in this series. But now we're going to go ahead and move into the 12 types trials, and I'm just going to do the first three. Um, like I said, I haven't had a whole lot of time to like mess with with a, you know all of these trials. Um, so I'm just going to do the first three, and I'm going to do the advanced versions of all three of these, um, but definitely do both versions, do the INT and advanced, because the um, INT is what gives you the recipe to do the killer plus for the race that you're you're going up against. Um, so in this case, bird killer plus. Um, and you definitely w want that recipe, because being able to craft multiple killer plus materials those are the ones that are 75 percent both physical and magical you definitely want to be able to craft those um if you're you know if you're lacking in that specific racial killer so do the int one first and then come in to do the advanced one but i'm just going to go straight to advanced and and that way i just do it once and you see how it's done and you know you can use the same strategy on both versions it works both ways 
Um, so the, the missions here are defeat the party in uh, six turns. Uh, that should be easy done. Um, party of five or less, also very easy. Clear without being KO'd, also very easy for this trial. Um, these first three were, were honestly uh, pushovers from the, from the beginning. Um, but a budget team, um, a budget team, you know, still needs to take some things into consideration. A uh, budget team it might not be so much of a pushover. Like, you know, we're not just going to walk in here and kill this thing on the first turn. Um, you know, but we will kill it probably on the third turn. Are you kidding me? Sylvie's in an expedition. Ah, uh, Sylvie, what are you doing? All right, let me get Sylvie out of this expedition real quick for you guys. Um, all right, where is she? Where's my Sylvie? Sylvie, where are you at? There you are, missing key. I'll just accelerate that. Oh dear. Can't have my girls out on a mission. And I got my S3 and my Sylvie out there. Alright, come on. Alright, sorry about that. Let's get right back to it. <clears throat> Let me see, it's 12 types. Alright, Archeo Avis. Um. And so, we're not going to take a companion. We don't need it. Uh, so here's the team. Budget as it gets. Um, you can see we've got Wild Rose uh, Fury on there. He is, <laughs> um, you know, when it comes to a budget team, he is the best bird killer that I have at a whopping 25% bird killer for the team. <laughs> so that's the best, uh, that is like the most budget uh, killer buff I could find. Um, and yeah, there it is. Uh, so we've got we've got Esther and Sylvie back. Always happy to see them because you can go Lightning Element on this boss. Um, it, it has two phases: above 50% HP, it is very weak to Lightning, uh, and then below 50%, it is very weak to Ice. Um, now, with that being said, you can still continue to use Lightning uh, even below 50% HP. It's just a little less effective but as you can see it's not going to matter we're gonna we're gonna get this thing done um just going lightning all the way all right uh so here's the gear we've got um yeah esther's just got i don't know like this gear from this just must be favorite yeah it's just like our favorited gear from when i used to use the murder bunny um for trials way back when it's kind of funny funny to see um always kind of fun to see you know favorited gear from from the murder bunny days um, so yeah, she is literally just here for the, uh, stronger lightning apparel, um, and also for some chaining. She'll cha be chaining with Runda. Um, yeah, standard budget build, uh, Golbez build, weapon specialist for bird killer, avian eater sense, um, because I'm pretty sure that one came from a trial that we did in one of the previous videos. I'm trying to remember which one did it come from. It came from one of the previous trials that we've already done, so I think that one's fair to use. And then, yeah, the Miracle Magic Indestructible Light um, and Oliveira Vision Card. I think his Bird Killer is... Where is it? Why am I blind? 275. It's right at the top, of course. 275. That's good. Sylvia is practically naked, just wearing her basket. Ooh la la. Um, yeah, Furian's got nothing. He doesn't need anything. Literally just here for that killer buff. And then Runda in his standard... Um, budget tank gear. I don't know why that slot's empty. Uh, pretty sure that's supposed to be adamantine. There it is. We'll go ahead and throw that in there. That caps off his uh, his um, his HP. Alright, and there's the team. Alright, let's get in here and get this thing done. Should be easy peasy. Okay, Esther is just going to do Shock and Brace um, for the Lightning and Peril. All right, we're going to do, which one is it? Uh, where is, where's Avian? There it is, Surpassing Nature. So this does, <laughs> this does a 25% um, Avian Killer for the whole team. So that's all, that's all you get. But hey, that brings Golbez up to an even 300% Bird Killer. So, um... I was, I was very happy about that. Alright, Golbez is going to go ahead and set up some brakes. Jet Black Curse. 
Um, give your powers to Meteor and uh, nope, not Osmos. Oh god. I'm supposed to do curse. Jet black curse. Give your powers to Meteor and Curse for the attack of Mag Breaks. Alright, Sylvie can. Go ahead and do Bolt Egg. Um, we'll do Marion Watch Over Me just so that uh, everyone has decent uh, defense and spirit. And um, we'll do. I don't think we need to worry about anything else. Um, yeah, we'll just go ahead and do Hop into Battle on Golbez. Runda just does his LB for the mitigations, and that's enough to keep everybody alive. Um, he'll of course cover all the physical damage. Uh, there'll be there will be some AOE magic damage uh, later on. I think on like turn two or three. Um, we might even kill it on turn three, so we might not even have to worry about that. But we'll, we'll see how it goes. All right, Firion can just guard. Sylvie. Um, we'll do all eggs in one basket on Golbez, and um, I don't think it does. I'm gonna do the break resistance. Um, I don't think it does stop or anything. I'll do spring cleaning just to make sure we have all of our bases covered. All right, and Golbez is just gonna meteor. Um, you know, I, I feel like these clears are getting a bit redundant because this is, I mean, this is literally all Golbez does. Um, he just sets up and then drops, you know, drops big rocks on people. And um, so, <laughs> yeah, it, it, it gets a little redundant, but knowing how to account for the boss's AI is, is something, I guess. All right, so let's, uh, let's do it. Okay, we, <laughs> we killed it. Uh, we killed it. All right, um... Yeah, and in most of my test runs, um, we were left with like, you know, five to ten percent. And um, but but don't worry, all you have to do is use an elixir on Golbez and do another meteor, and, and it's dead. Um, it doesn't do anything that's gonna uh, really hurt your team the following turn. Um, so so don't worry. With Runda's mitigations, no one is in any danger of dying. So just use an elixir and throw another meteor. At the thing and it'll be dead okay all right well that one went faster than i thought <laughs> all right uh, now let's move on to stroper another joke of a trial um again do the int version first to get the uh the stone killer and the stone killer plus recipe and then come in and do this one um so this one gives you stone killer plus and it also gives you reaper eater sense um, the previous trial gave us a, a stone eater sense. That's kind of the nice thing about these 12 types trials is that the, the trial, like the preceding trial always gives you the killer for the trial that you're going into, right? So this one's uh, a stone. So the Arguavis gave us a stone killer. This one is giving us a reaper eater sense because Dullahan, which is the next one in line, is a reaper. So you kind of get some heads up on what the next boss is going to be. Um, pretty much very, very similar uh, missions here. Defeat Stroper's Party in 10 turns. That's easy enough. We'll do it in like two or three. Um, party of five or less. Too easy. Clear without being KO'd. Uh, very, very simple. All right. Um, this one is definitely a joke. It does all physical damage with no accuracy. Cause, so you could literally bring in a, uh, a full evade cover tank and not take any damage. But we're just going to... You know, we're going to let Runda do, do what Runda does and uh, mitigate everything. So here's my Stroper team. Uh, Esther and Sylvie still coming along for the ride. Um, we're going to go Stone on this one. Or sorry, Earth. We're going to go Earth Element on this one because there's an Earth and Peril field. It's very much like Sandworm where there's an Earth and Peril field. And so going Earth Element is recommended. You can also go Fire. Um, fire and Earth have similar elemental um, weaknesses on this one, but might as well go Earth. Um, and then we're bringing Poppy along because she has uh, Stone Killer in the kit, so she can do a 75% Stone Killer for the for the party. So that's why Poppy's here. Um, 
pretty much all the same gear, I think, on everybody. Uh, yeah, all the same gear on Esther. Pretty much the same gear here, except we just did Stone Eater Sense and Weapon Specialist. And so I think he's got 275 stone, yep. Um, everything else is the same. Sylvie the same. Uh, Poppy's got nothing, doesn't need anything. Uh, same gear on... Why does it keep taking Adam and Team out? So weird. Okay. Um, yep. So, should be good to go. This one should be another quick and simple wipe the floor with the boss. Alright. So, um... Yeah, Esther, I don't think she has to do anything on this turn. I think she can just guard. Um, Sylvie is going to do Gravel Egg. Um, followed by Hop into Battle on Golbez. Um, and uh, we'll do Hop to the Rescue on Runda. Just so he takes, like, one damage. Because with all of his mitigations, it's just, like, insane. All right, um... Poppy's just going to do I Feel Inspired, um, and then next turn we'll do the Killer Buff, just because uh, it just maximizes the number of turns you have the Killer Buff active. Not that we really need it. Uh, this thing's going to be dead very, very quickly. Uh, and then Curse for... Yeah, pretty much standard setup. Like I said, the, these get a bit redundant. Um, these, like, you know, very squishy bosses, uh, they, they get pretty redundant. All right, so you see Runda doing what Runda does best. All right, so now Sylvie can do all eggs in one basket on Golbez for the increased uh, amp. And Golbez will do Meteor. Runda does triple Runda laser. Esther does triple bolting strike. And Poppy will just do her killer. All right. Um... Did that not do? Oh yeah, Killer Art Supply. So this should do... So when you use I Feel Inspired, it buffs this one up to a 75%, I think? Oh, it didn't. Is it... Maybe it's Graffiti Trick that does all the buffs. Um, so let's try that. I'm going to do Graffiti Trick followed by Killer Art Supplies, and that should give us the buff. So right now, Golbez is 275. Let's see if that works. He should have 350 if that worked. No, he's only got 325. Okay, well, whatever. I'm not too worried about it. Um, it's still going to be more than enough. Okay, so let's kill this thing. Actually, I don't think this will kill. I think this thing is fairly bit bold. I think it's got like 10 billion HP. Yeah, that's what I thought. But we're just going to reload with an elixir and go again. I forgot to make Run to Petrify Resistant. <laughs> That's alright. That's what Sylvie's here for. Alright, Spring Cleaning. There we go. Alright, so yeah, we literally just reload. Uh, Poppy's going to do an Elixir because there's not, you know, th there's no reason you can't use an item. There's not a no items mission. So let's, you know, just reload. And I always freak out when I, I do that, so I always make sure I tap Meteor. For some reason, I you know I always worry it's gonna take whatever the MP was when I reloaded, which was you know 1,000 or something. Probably doesn't matter. All right, let's uh, let's kill this thing. There you go. There's Stroper. All missions clear. All too easy. All right. Um, so one more trial left to do. Um, like I said, the, these you know these are a bit repetitive. Um, I think you know a lot of these later trials are are going to be um, some of them might be a bit too much to handle for like a, a budget build uh, team. Um, 
I'll definitely do the INT versions of, of all of these, I think, in like a future episode. And then I'll try to do as many of the advanced ones. But these start to get like really bulky. And like a, a, a budget build Golbez is going to have a tough time reaching like the turn count missions on the advanced stages on some of these. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll get to that when we get to it. So the last trial I'm going to do uh, in this video is Dullahan. Uh, so he is a Reaper, so you get an Undead Killer Plus, and then you get Machine Eater Sense. This one could be very useful for the upcoming Clash of Wills, because the upcoming Clash of Wills is a uh, is part machine. So if you haven't done this trial already and you want some machine killers, this is a really easy uh, and accessible machine killer. Um, the, the next being, you know, the Death Machine trial uh, to get a Machine Killer Plus there. All right, um, so exact same missions as before, 10 turns, party five or less, clear without an ally being KO'd. I will say that Dullahan is um, definitely not as much of a pushover as his predecessors. So Dullahan is going to put up a little bit of a fight, but um, we should still get this done, I think, in like six or seven turns with a budget team. Uh, so let's load up my uh, Dullahan team. Dulla. Dulla, Dulla. Okay. Um, <clears throat> yep, so we've got, um, unfortunately Esther couldn't make it for this one, uh, but uh, no big deal. We needed Runda's mitigations um, for, for this one, and uh, we also need Biggs and Wedge. He's going to be doing a bit of uh, Runda and uh, Biggs and Wedge are going to be both kind of be doing a little bit of, of coverage here. Um, so some turns the magic damage will be more prevalent, other turns the physical damage will be more prevalent. Um, and we also need Runda to um, essentially provoke the, the counters that Delahan does. So Delahan will counter up to twice. Um, so, you know, if you have Golbez and Biggs and Wedge attacking him, uh, he, will, he will counter them specifically, and those can't be provoked. And so you have to have someone like Runda hit the boss twice to go ahead and soak up all those count counters. So that's what he's there for as well. Um, Realm is here for the Rod and Peril. She also does a 75% Reaper Killer buff, and so she's quite useful. And what we're basically going to be doing in this fight is just doing... Uh, we're just going to do a, a bunch of Meteors all in a row. Uh, and we're just going to have Realm uh, filling him up with Elixirs, and we're just going to keep hammering this thing. Because um, once you pass 80% HP... Dullahan will start to heal himself every three turns by 20%. And so you just have to make sure that you're outpacing the heals. Um, and, and they do make a, you know, they're a bit inconvenient. Uh, but we'll definitely get that done. Uh, we'll definitely be able to outpace the heals, no problem. But it does add that extra layer of, you know, something that adds a little bit of extra layer of difficulty to it. All right, so let's get to the gear. Um, you know, nothing really shaking. Uh, he does need backup unit for, um, I believe it's for the death immunity, um, uh, as well as stop immunity uh, on this one. And so definitely put backup unit on your Runda for this one. Otherwise, basically the same uh, typical uh, tanky gear. Uh, Golbez, again, basic uh, budget gear. We've just filled him up with uh, Reaper Killers, so Conquering the Fear of Spirits, that one came from the Scorn of the Omega Trial, and then Reaper Eater Sense, of course, came from Stroper, which we just defeated. So um, that should actually cap him at Reaper, because he has 150% innate, so that caps him at Reaper, so he, he's he's doing well, uh, he's well suited for this trial. Alright, we've got a nice, I like that having, you know, 4444 on the, uh, on the MP, that looks nice. Uh, Sylvie's naked, don't need to worry about anything. Um, and then, yeah, Realm, I think I just geared her for some uh, bolt. Not really sure, I can't remember why I did that. Maybe maybe she takes damage? Uh, do we take any damage on this trial? I honestly can't remember. Um, maybe we do. And uh, Avalanche's Biggs and Wedge. Um, geared for some ice resistance because this boss um, does... Um, ice and light damage and in fact it does a preemptive aoe light nuke um it doesn't come with an imperil luckily so just having 100 percent light resistance uh will means biggs and wedge will preemptively cover that 
and be totally resistant to it. And then just some ice resistance there. And we're gonna have Sylvie doing some, some buffs on our elemental resistances. That's just to keep Biggs and Wedge uh, happy. Uh, and then the standard double weapon with Aurora Scarf so that he quad casts his, uh, his tag chain. And that's, we're just gonna be like basically starting on turn, from like turn two to turn six, we're just gonna be do, dropping meteors, dropping meteors every turn just to kill this thing as fast as we can. All right, um, and that's basically the whole strategy for this trial. Okay, so let's get in here and see how we get this done. All right, so here comes the preemptive uh, light nuke. Biggs and Wedge take it for the team. Should be totally resisted. There you go. All right, um, so Runda uh, will just do his LB as, as per usual. Um, Biggs and Wedge can do their, um, their cooldowns. Um, Realm, we're gonna save the Rod and Peril for next turn. So Realm, I think honestly, she's just gonna, yeah, she, no, she's just gonna um, guard on this turn. We don't need her to do anything. Uh, Golbez is going to go ahead and do his usual setup of Jet Black Curse, followed by Give Your Powers to Meteor and Curse. Um, we're going to go Lightning Element on this one because there is a Lightning uh, in Peril Field. You can also go Fire if you want. Um, they have the same uh, natural in Peril to both of those elements, but we are going to go Lightning because uh, why not? Um, we're gonna do, I think this thing does some breaks. So we're gonna do the break resistance. Um, and then we're gonna do uh, Marion watch over me. Oh, wait a minute. I don't think that's what I wanted to do, is it? No, 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 no. We wanna go ahead and set up our elemental resist, don't we? Yep, and then we'll do the break and stop resistance and Marion watch over me. That's what we want. Uh, and we'll go ahead and do our imbues and all that, imbues and buffs and all that stuff next turn. All right, um, I think that's exactly what we want to do here. Hope so. We're gonna find out. All right. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna hit the boss now, <laughs> um, but we want to make sure Runda hits it first. So he's gonna do two Runda lasers and then a Runda barrier for the uh, for the buffs, the uh, elemental buffs, because it comes with a hundred percent ice buff, which is nice. Um, all right, so that that makes sure that Dullahan is going to uh, do both of his counter attacks on Runda, who is more than equipped to handle it. All right, Realm is now going to do, would you pose for a portrait for the uh, Rod and Peril? And uh, Undead Sketch for the Reaper Killer. All right, now we're going to imbue. Bolt Egg, hop into battle on Golbez, and all eggs on one basket on Golbez to maximize the number of turns uh, that he has. Hmm, excuse me, um, all of these buffs. All right, so let's see what the first one does. I think it, I think I usually do about a third of the thing's HP on this turn. We'll see. Um, okay, yep, I think we are set up and ready to go. Oh, only like a quarter, okay, no worries, no worries. Alright, so you see we did take a little bit of damage there, but it was, you know, with, with Runda's mitigations, um, it, it, it's all fairly in, inconsequential. That's why, yeah, that's why uh, I bulk Realm up, because she is a bit squishy, alright? Um, but she is, she is very valuable to getting this clear done, so um, you definitely want to make sure she survives, because she's going to be our Elixir Master. Alright, um... We are going to do protective petal, protective vines. That's to heal up uh, our realm so that she is she is all good. Um, 
and then you could do, I mean, you could even do hop to the rescue on realm, uh, just to make sure that, but I, I don't think it's necessary. We've got the buffs up already. So I'm gonna do, I'll do another bolt egg, just cause I always wanna make sure that we are imbued. Um, so we should still have one more turn on run, Runda's mitigations. Yeah, yeah. so we should be good. So I'm going to actually save his SLB for next turn. And that should get us through the rest of the fight. Um, yeah, so we'll do a double run the laser and then, uh, I don't know, Shelga, I guess. Um, again, just to soak up those counters. All right, so um, since we are below 80% HP, um, Dullahan is going to heal himself this turn for 20%. Um, so hopefully we can knock a decent chunk off here, uh, but he's, he's gonna he's gonna heal it right back up probably, um, or at least a good portion of the damage we're gonna do here. This is why it's important you just keep hammering it and get it done as quickly as you can. That's a good chunk. He's gonna heal back up to like 68% though, um, but yeah, it is what it is. All right, so now Runda's definitely got to do his um, his SLB. Uh, so we're gonna do that. All right, it should still have a rod and peril up, so we want to continue taking advantage of that. Um, what that means is that Golbez and Biggs and Wedge are going to um, to get the the counters. Um, so I think Golbez will get one, and Biggs and Wedge will get one. But with Runda's uh, SLB, we've got the higher mitigation, so they should still be good, and they're, and they're both pretty bulky in their own right, so um, I don't think that's going to be an issue. Alright, so we've got to make sure Realm doesn't die, so we'll do Protect Petals and Protect Finds again to heal up. And um, we're going to do our Elemental buffs. Um, we, still sh we should have plenty of turns left on our Imbue, just double checking. Adds lightning element. Two turns. Yep. So we're good. Very good. Okay. Um, so yeah, we're just going to re-up our elemental buffs here. Alright. And let's drop another bomb. So we should have... Yeah, we've got the bigger uh, spirit breaks too. Yep. So those have kicked in. So again, you want to take advantage of that. You want to get this done before those wear off. Alright. Okay, we're in good shape. That's interesting, they both hit Runda. Hmm, all right. I'm not gonna complain. I thought they were gonna hit Golbez and Biggs and Wedge. I'm, <laughs> I certainly will not complain if he wants to hit Runda. Um, all right, should have enough elixirs to, to finish this fight off. Um, All right, um, gonna re-up our bolt egg. Um, so Realm didn't take any damage on that one, so we, we don't have to worry so much about the, um, we'll just do attack mag buff, just to make sure that's always up. Um, make sure we don't have any breaks. All right, so again, uh, Runda will just soak up the covers or the uh, counters. Golbez is gonna go again. All right, we should, this might actually finish the fight right here. Our killers have worn off, however, so th there is a chance that we won't kill. It's okay, we'll have Realm reapply the killers and we'll have Sylvie do the elixir and that should definitely finish it off next turn. Um, and, and, and that will be good because otherwise, if we don't kill it on turn six, he'll heal again. And that's just, you know, one more turn. You have to have to wait. Okay, um, so we should be good, right? We've still got our, yep, okay. Hmm. 
Hmm, that's weird. Why didn't that one... Uh, I guess maybe his amps and buffs were off. Hmm. So he does he does still have lightning element, correct? <laughs> oh, I know why. It's cause yeah, it's cause the killers have worn off and we don't have the rod in peril. That's why it was so significantly reduced, uh, of course. Okay. That makes perfect sense. Um, now we don't have access to the rod and peril. We can't do anything about that, but we can do the um, the undead sketch to uh, to boost the reaper killer. Um, I don't think we have access. No, we don't have access to hop into battle again. That's fine. Um, we'll just do um, we'll just do bolt egg. Actually, no. We'll have Sylvie do the elixir on Golbez. Right? Um, Cause what's his mag? Yeah, he's still got a good mag buff on there. So, we'll just have Sylvie do the elixir. I think that makes sense. All right, um, so he's got the killer buff. We still got the 88% spirit break. So this one should kill it, I wanna say. Should, emphasis on should. One <laughs> percent? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh! You must be joking. All right, whatever. My God. Oh. All right. Well, now you're gonna see what you do when you don't kill on turn six, because now he's gonna heal himself, which means yeah, we've given ourselves. Uh, oh crap! Are you kidding me? Freaking good lord of mercy. Uh, all right. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. What is happening? All right. Well, we're just going for it, guys. We are going for it. He's still got lightning element imbued. God, Biggs and Wedge, please don't die. Please don't die. <laughs> uh, if I die on this one, I'm... <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm almost wondering if I should... Oh my god, I'm out of elixirs. Of course I am. <laughs> Alright. Um... Mm -mm -mm. Da -da -da. Let's see. Well, Sylvie can do her LB to do 50%. Mm. Alright, this is probably... <laughs> god, this is so... <laughs> this is... This is... This is not going to end well. Yep, that's what I was worried about. There he goes, big some wedge. All right, so we've lost our our break. Yep, saw that one coming. All right, so <laughs> I am making this up on the fly. Here we go. Here we go. All right, um, Carson, uh, Osmos. Yeah, because we're like in full defense mode now. Actually, she can dual cast, can't she? And bring them back to life. Full life. Full life. I don't know if I don't know if they're gonna survive. They might not. Um Yeah, they they may not. I guess we'll find out. All right, and we'll just do cover. Um, 
run to barrier and shelga and just hope that realm and bigs and wedge survive because uh, then we should definitely kill next turn shouldn't be a problem all right sweet oh they're stopped no problem that's why we have sylvie love sylvie man gosh she is she is so awesome i love her um oh except she doesn't have her triple cast up Ooh, interesting which means we're not going to be imbued because we have to do the imbue oh yep we can't unstop them <laughs> god <laughs> oh my god oh my god this is too funny this is too funny because yeah because Golbez doesn't have an imbue anymore I wonder if we can kill non-elemental from 6%. I wonder. He's got buffs. If we unstop Realm, she can do the killer buff and the rod and peril. <laughs> oh my gosh like all my other test runs I killed this thing on turn 6 and now I'm like what the fuck um pardon my French there folks uh, I wonder I wonder what the best thing to do here is I think I'm going to try it non-elemental I hope it doesn't have like 95% probably does doesn't it that's probably really stupid but I don't have any I don't have any other way to chain otherwise like I, I literally have no way to chain so I kind of have to try that and just hope and just hope that it works yeah I think that's what I have to do all right that's what we're gonna do folks we're going non-elemental pray for me all right I mean, we're going to give it everything. So her sketches, just to double check, her sketches don't actually imbue. They just imperil and give you an amp. Yeah, that's so stupid. I wish they imbued. Like, what's the point of an amp if you're not imbuing? Ugh. Anyways, okay. double hit because I just definitely want to make sure uh, if for some reason this doesn't kill him all right yeah all right uh, wish me luck I'm really hoping this works really hoping this works <laughs> oh my god ah. Oh my god. Never ending battle. Are you killing me? You fucker. Ah. Oh my goodness. Alright. Can I kill from 23%? We've got all we've got all of our buffs. This is it. This is it, folks. It, it, this has to happen. Um there is no other way. It has to happen here. We draw the line here. This far. No farther. Alright, come on. <laughs> oh my god folks if i don't kill him here uh if i don't kill him here oh no we don't have any oh i shouldn't have done that oh i so i so should not have done that oh crap i don't have any more i don't have any more elixirs i don't think this does enough i think mega elixirs only do like 100 we'll see <laughs> oh, I can't believe I'm gonna have to like I'm gonna have to go out of this fight and and do this again. This is absurd. Oh my god, what a joke! I should have just waited till turn ten and tried to kill it. Oh, this is so stupid. 
Uh, yeah, because I don't think, like, nobody has, yeah, that's, it's not, nobody has, like, a percentage MP, and I've used up all my, uh, all right, this is, let's see what this does. It's not going to do anything, really. Yep. All right, that was fun. Um, let's try that again, and, and, and I'll hopefully show you how it's actually supposed to go. All right, uh, I'm going to do this one real quick. Um, I, I'm not even going to talk through this one. I cannot believe that. I should have just waited to do the, the full-powered Meteor on turn 10. Ah, my God. And I don't want to go back and re-record all this stuff because, you know, geez, that's a pain in the ass. All right, so sorry, guys. you got to watch this all over again. Um, if you don't care, then just go ahead and stop watching now. But if you want to hear me uh, bitch and moan about <laughs> how much this sucks that I have to do this all over again, then please continue watching. Oh my God. You kill me. You kill me. This should have been over like five turns ago. Ah, all right. It's okay. It's okay. We're doing good. We're doing good. We are doing good. <laughs> Cannot believe you, Dullahan. I think, what did he have? He had like 1% HP, didn't he, on turn 6. Like, we got him to 1%, and then, yeah, everything just went to shit. That's fantastic. All right, Bolt Egg. Hop into battle. All eggs. Give me those eggs, come on. All right, Rod and Peril, Undead Killer. Runda is going to double run the laser and run the barrier to soak up the counters. And yep, these boys just do what they do. Okay, everything's in place. Should be good to go. Let's roll. Alright, that was a good hit. Feel good about that one. All right, so just like before, we'll save the SLB um, for the following turn. Realm's gonna do her job of filling up Golbez. Uh, we'll just do another Bolt Egg. Protective, protective, to keep Realm alive. All right, these boys just do what they do. that one to do a little bit more damage especially because he's going to heal himself back up on this turn but variance has not been good to me here all right so now we got to do the slb All right, let's kill this guy. Let's just kill this guy. So tired of looking at him. All right, so just to make sure I'm gonna re-up the killer buff. That's probably where I made my mistake last time, is is not re-upping my killer buff. That's that's actually probably, that's probably what 
what screwed me over on that last run and why I did not kill on turn six. Um, so Sylvie does the um, Sylvie does the because uh, we should still have our lightning, right? Please tell me I didn't just screw myself again. Yep. So we've got lightning for one more turn. Um, we should have lightning amps as well. That's weird. Okay. Um, anyways. Yep. So now we've got 88% breaks, the killer buff, rod and peril. So this one should hurt, and then we should definitely be able to kill on turn six. Um, I don't think there's going to be any issue with that. Okay, yeah, we're definitely getting this one. That, that was my problem. That was my problem on the previous run. I, I forgot to re-up the Reaper killer buff. So I'm, I'm glad to know that it was it was my mistake. It wasn't just variance. That was my my mistake on the previous run. And it cost me, as you guys, <laughs> as you guys definitely saw. That, that one cost me. Um, all right, so Sylvie's now going to re-up the, uh, uh, the Lightning Imbue. Uh, we are definitely going to kill on this one uh, without issue. Uh, Realm can now do an elixir. Okay. And uh, yeah, this guy's going to die. Uh, we don't have the rod in peril, but that's fine. Like 10% HP. Um, this guy's going down. Yep. All right, there it is. <laughs> that's that's the way it should have looked the first time, the first time. Um, and I'm I'm not planning on editing out that first run. Uh, my failures are, you know, I learn just as much from my failures as I do from my successes. And you know, um, I, I think it's definitely good for you all to see where I make mistakes because I am I am certainly not infallible. I make plenty of mistakes in this game, uh, even against what are supposed to be quote unquote easy trials. All right, so so there you go. Um, that's how you take down Dullahan. Um, obviously Golbez, yeah, I don't even, don't even need to look at that. Um, and that's the last one I'm gonna do on this one. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I, I will do, I will continue doing uh, this sort of budget tour with Golbez. Um, I'll, I'll continue trying to do as many of the 12 types trials. I'll, I'll certainly do the INT versions um, of the ones that I just aren't, um, you know, feasible really for a budget build Golbez team. Um, and, and so stay tuned for those in the future and um, also stay tuned for Clash of Wills. I'm very excited for it. Um, I'm definitely going to be doing some polls on the, the near. Uh, the near banner for 2B and A2 and I will record and, and I'll post those polls for you guys. I'll, I'll post the step up polls. Um, I have like a hundred tickets um, that I'm also going to throw at that banner but uh, until Gumi implements a multi-ticket poll on banners I, I, I'm not... I'm not going to force you guys to sit there and watch me pull one at a time. I mean, it's already mind-numbing enough for me having to do it. Uh, I don't want to put you guys through that. But I will record and show you guys my step-up pulls because I, I definitely intend on doing the guaranteed step-up, that 36K Lapis one. As you can see, I have almost 110K Lapis, so um, I'm going to do that guaranteed one. And then depending on what I get, I might go all the way to Pity on uh, whichever one I don't get off the guaranteed um, we'll just kind of see and, and play that by ear. Uh, but definitely look out for those pull videos. And then, of course, my, my standard uh, clear videos for level 99 clear only uh, guides. I'll do those right away. And then, hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll also be able to rank one on this one as well. Um, so thank you guys so much for following me and, and sticking with me. And uh, stay tuned because more, more is coming in the coming weeks. And uh, I hope you guys look forward to it. I certainly do. And I will see you on the other side.